Hey all, welcome. Today we will work on this one. And let's open a new part and build it together. I will create on font plane one sketch. And first I will place two circles. This is our tube. Here I got a 30 millimeter diameter. I have here a wall thickness of two and a half. We close sketch, extrude post base, mid plane, 160. We can save this now. I created here a new folder. I say the name tube. Now I got a new part on front plane. I create a sketch. I will play place a rectangle with center uh, rectangle. First, I select two edge while control is pressed, and then I make equal. Then I will place here a line. Now again, control pressed. I select two point, and this. Uh, center line and I say make it symmetric. Here's some values 85. I think here we can make like 50, 15, and here I will make an offset of 5 for now and delete this and make it construction geometry. So, two time circle. Control pressed, we make circle diameters equal. Control again pressed, we keep pressing and we select two point and one center line and we make it symmetric. Okay, this is good. We can say here we got a 15. I will copy everything now. We select everything, so color sketch, sketch pattern, this is sort of copy, it is making pattern, we say OK. As you see, you we got some blue uh, objects and I don't like them. And I select two point line and make symmetric. And I will do also here this one. And then our sketch should be symmetric, but let's do it in this way. Or we give an angle symmetric. So we only got to give this one and diameter 36 and here a 6. Yes, it looks fine now. We can continue. We close our sketch and we make extrude post space and this is selected mid plane and whole millimeter thick. If you do not have any reason, please make everything symmetric on a part because it is going to help you when you build an uh, assembly. We open a new, uh, we save the part, we create an assembly. On assembly, I bring my plate. First thing I would like to do, click here, right click, make it float, origin selected origin selected to origin selected and I will make coincident so part origin and assembly origin in the same place this is the idea here now I got to YouTube let's place them uh, first I will work with this tube front plane will be here and later I will make also white plane and white plane here coincident. One thing is missing, our contact, which is tendency here. Tube 1 is OK. Front plane selected. Here now it will be on the white plane. Top plane will be here on the 
to play. What is missing? Again, tangency. So tubes are constrained. But I see here, yes, they are all constrained. Also, you can he see here, here it says fully defined. Now we need to play a create our uh, threaded road on the top plane. I create a sketch. I place here one circle. I place here another circle. Make both of them construction geometry. This is 30. This is 3. And I, as I was, I always do. I create here a construction geometry as well. But let's make it a little bit longer. I have here a line, line continues like this, and we got this. Now, control pressed, I make this to object tangent. If you don't want to make control pressed, you can also click your left mouse button and go through to object and say make tangent. And we select object, mirror entities, this will be the mirror axis. Maybe some dimensions will make things nicer. Here 35. Maybe we don't need, but we will see. Here I have an angle of 60. It looks nice. And I need to put some radius. A radius should be normally at least equal to the diameter of the thing. Uh, the road, but uh, we will make it here uh, 6. In fact, depending on your tool and how you bend, it starts from minimal equal to the diameter of the thing that you are working, and it can vary. And this is good. What we should do now, create a reference geometry, select this line, and a point on that line again, normal to that line and that point also uh, origin is that point we will create a plane in this plane now i select this plane and create a sketch and i will place here a diameter a circle and a diameter here five as we speak early i create a uh, hide this plane i select two object in fact, to sketch, let's say, swap both space. It is selected to uh, as profile, it is selected as a pad. And we are good to go. Chamfer, because there will be thread, there must be also a chamfer. We created that. We go to features. Here we have a thread. We select thread. Thread location is this, and we will make it with offset. Offset will be backwards, mm -hmm. and let's see the profile. Profile should be mirrored inwards, and we will cut it. And I will do the same thing here. We can right click, recent commands, and thread. We select this edge, offset active, offset reversed and profile should be mirrored because of size it's understanding it is metric 5 and I didn't touch there so this is good guys we say thread that road yes we rebuild and save it we go here a window our assembly here insert components threaded road here and I will need and two time of that already I do that copy them first will be here guys this selected to here and I will give one more time relationship this diameter to this sorry do not this concentric 
this guy here concentric and I close for a while and I little bit make this correction here start to work slow because of video program so I have here a circle cut its surface and I have here my road I select of them made it will be concentric so what we are missing now relationship here we got a surface and I select this one I will say tangent will be placed tangently there will be a contact in between in fact and for this one I need a little bit play first to bring to right location tangent uh, made not always great it's not moving let's try let's say tangency yeah it's good so what is missing now I see thread is shorter and I select this object I say edit part we should save this he says yes we will do that to clamp name we should save it before you are able to rework I have this profile and I remember there was a 35 so I'm going to make it short let's say 30 in that way also thread will be offset and I will here have enough to it and the same for other because we use same model now we got a, a DIN library, toolbox, DIN, here we have a washers, these washers, plain washers, let's select the B type, this one ABC type, and size 445A will be our uh, model, say OK and I come back here insert components you will see this one here we can edit wherever it is not visible let's make it like this guys yes where are you I don't see you again this guy anyway it's not going to work seems I dropped a random point to the uh, in this way select the surface select the surface outer edge diameter select the surface this will be at the other side and select this two edges so they are constrained we are almost there I go to DIN again hex nuts and I will use this one EN 24D32 metric 5 selected nothing will be necessary nothing else and we didn't create it yeah we didn't create it sorry guys we go back select this one create a part it is here and we create it now it should be here simply what program does opens a new window behind and if some part open you can bring parts here so I select this face hey you are not on the right point same shit again sorry we will do manual way if you press control you can copy one and let's do this way select this one select this one he is there behind the surface and the surface yeah good this one and this one this should be uh, flipped we do that and I will pick my knot we are in the wrong place by the way so 
where I'm a little bit clumsy. Okay, we have this one here. We already have uh, one relation. We can go under that one, and you're gonna see here mate. This mate, we will edit, and it says a face here. And I will convert to this one, and it will be fine. So what we are missing now, some simple operations. We select this two. Linear component pattern. This direction. I got here. And these two objects selected, guys. We come to linear pattern pattern. We select the direction. And this is good as well. Now mirror. Most beautiful part of this program. White plane selected. Mirror components, this guy, this guy, this guy, then this two guy. Continue. You will not have any alignment issue here, I hope. Sometimes you need to swap things for right hand, left hand. Top plane is selected. Mirror components, which components? Are they these two guy and this two guy and the threaded road and completed? Yes, it looks nice. I hope you get the idea. It's not very, very complicated thing. It is simple operations, and uh, that could be a different way of working here. For example, I would make uh, the the way here a little bit looking much more better. Huh? Grouping them, for example. Selecting these two objects, etc. They are making them sub assays, but this is for repetition's sake and uh, for uh, just a demonstration how we build things. Not so important in this moment. But uh, I hope you like video. If you like it, hit the like button and uh, see you in another video.